A woman is home recovering after she was shot last night while riding in a car. The incident happening around 11:30 last night at the corner of Calhoun and Rudisill. That's a block from Southside High School. Police say the bullet came from a celebratory gun shop for Independence Day. Something they say no one should do. Fox 55's Cody Butler has more. Travis and Kristen Lansaw were going through this intersection last night when they heard a pop, not realizing what it was until they saw Kristen was bleeding. Travis and Kirsten Lansall were leaving the fireworks show downtown when a bullet went through the roof of their Jeep and grazed Kirsten. People like things that go bang. Fort Wayne Police spokesman Michael Joyner says they get reports of people shooting into the air celebrating the new year and Independence Day. The issue is it's a very reckless uh, an irresponsible thing to do. Joyner says it could have been worse for Kirsten. We think about this. What if this was uh, an infant in a car seat? An infant that hasn't quite yet developed. But the hard roof of the Jeep helped slow the bullet. She was in the right position where it was a graze versus a direct impact. You can face jail time for shooting into the air. Around the same time last night, Brian Williams was arrested, accused of shooting into the air on Oakland Court a few miles away. Because what goes up has got to come down. And you got to remember, these rounds don't have eyes. Um, they're going to land. They're going to land somewhere. Joyner says if you would like to celebrate with a bank to use fireworks instead, only do so legally. You could shoot them off through Monday from 5 until 11. On the south side, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News.